you guys, it's Summer, and I am making a video today to talk about how we can battle the winter dry skin. It is terrible this time of year. We're all suffering. I think even people who generally have oily skin sometimes will really battle dry skin in the winter months, and it's because the temperatures have dropped, the humidity has dropped, and we are suffering, and sometimes even the the clothes we wear in the winter will sometimes pull the moisture from our body. It's crazy all the factors that go into this, but there are ways that you can get your skin hydrated and I'm gonna share with you a couple of things I have learned and a couple tips that I do that have really made a big difference. So, the first thing that I wanna tell you about is to make sure that you're not just thinking about hydrating your skin on the outside, but that you're hydrating from the inside too. For example, water. I know you all wanna drink your pumpkin spice lattes and your cups of coffee all day long, but that's not going to hydrate you and that is not going to help your skin. Water, water is the number one thing. You need to make sure you get an amazing water bottle that you can carry around with you throughout the day and it will remind you to drink up. This is the number one thing I can suggest to you and if you need to put little flavor enhancers in there, try and get natural ones sweetened with stevia and you're good to go. So step one, drink your water. You can still have your coffee, just have your water too. Okay, step number two. I want you to think about aloe vera. I know that normally we think of aloe vera as a way to soothe our skin when we get a sunburn. But actually, aloe vera is really important in the winter months too, and it's not just important to put on your skin, but also to drink. There is a brand, George's, and I actually have their aloe vera spray mister, and this is really good to mist your face throughout the day. You wanna moisturize three to four times a day to really get the benefits. And I think that this aloe vera spray is a great brand, um, very reputable, especially in aloe vera. They also have a drink, an aloe vera drink that you can drink throughout the day and will make a huge difference in keeping your skin moisturized and keeping you hydrated. But there's also an important thing that you need to remember about a moisturizer. Your regular old moisturizer may not do it for you, especially in these winter months. And like I was just talking about aloe vera, if you can get it from the inside, awesome, but you also want it on the outside. Aloe vera is anti-inflammatory and it's incredibly moisturizing. So I tend to look for skincare and um, my facial care that has aloe vera as the first ingredient instead of water, or water and aloe vera is one of the first two ingredients. So a couple products that I would suggest that you look into are something maybe with shea butter, that's really good for your body. Um, any oils, those actually are incredibly moisturizing. So you could use coconut oil, I use that all year round. There's a product called Sodium PCA and it's actually a, a spray, just like the aloe vera spray. And you can spritz that on your face before moisturizing throughout the day. You can go between that and the aloe vera spray. But it's incredible for aging, it's incredible for your skin, and it's definitely a product I recommend. You can find it, um, maybe, at, I found mine at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and maybe on Vitacost, Amazon, Sodium PCA. The last product that I really love has been my savior this winter is the Bioscriptives Aloe Vera. And this has resveratrol, and the first ingredient is aloe vera juice. I really love that. Aloe vera is a deep moisturizer that also has anti-aging benefits. It's natural, it doesn't use any of those controversial ingredients like parabens and sulfates and petroleum and mineral oils, you know, that stuff that you don't want going into your pores, you don't want going into your skin. This product is free of all of that. And it has resveratrol, like I said, which is actually a potent antioxidant and it's 
really good for anti-aging. It's found naturally in red wine. So have a glass of wine, wear your aloe verics, and just feel younger. And the great thing about aloe verics is that it's light enough to wear under your sunscreen, under your makeup, and it has a yellow tint to it. I can show you a little sample of what it looks like. The great thing about the yellow tint is that it helps to even your skin tone. So you're getting hydrated, fighting aging, and you're evening out your skin tone. So let's review. Drink your water and drink your aloe vera juice. Make sure you invest in a really great moisturizer. I highly suggest the aloe verics. And then remember to moisturize several times throughout the day, either using the sodium PCA or try the George's aloe vera. So try incorporating these super easy, simple, affordable tips into your daily routine and see the changes happen. Dry skin is not going to be an issue for you anymore. I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video and subscribe. It's kind of important, kind of a thing on YouTube. And it's like giving me a hug. And I really love hugs. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.